Hey you guys and welcome to day two. Today's affirmation is you don't have to be a scrum black woman. It's time to put your cape down. Being a scrum black woman is played out. Yes, it is. You are allowed to live a soft life. Yes. I have this on my vision board. Living a soft life is my goal this year. And that is my goal. Um, it has, let's see, what am I? In this lifestyle, you do things like no longer prioritizing everyone else's needs while ignoring your own. Write about ways that you can release being a strong black woman and embrace a life of ease. Whew, so I already wrote in my journal for this part. So I'm gonna read a couple of things. Well, not word from word or everything, but I'm gonna read what I wrote, something that I feel that I can't um, let go of trying to be this grown black woman is to allow others to assist and learn to trust others in their actions. Oh, wait, okay, allow others to assist and learn to trust their actions. So for instance, today, I should have done this today. So today, I this morning I woke up, did my morning skincare routine. I started to uh, finish cleaning up my couch with my Hoover. And my boys were sleeping, they're teenagers, they're 18 and 16. And they were sleeping because they was up all night. We all went to break, so there's no school work this um this week off also. And I just cleaned the couch. Well, I didn't do everything, but I just cleaned one part of the couch. And that was a lot of work, just one section. I have a big section on. So I should have gotten them up or waited till they got up. It was really early in the morning. And allowed them to do that. So I wouldn't have to do that. My back was hurting, you know, <laughs> from just being over and cleaning that, getting that dirt up off that couch. And that's what I have to learn to do. Stop trying to do everything. Like that took like an hour to clean up. And even if, well, they're gonna do the other part. That's my goal. I did one section, they're gonna do the other section. So when they do that section, I feel like I, I need to show them how to do it, but I need to let it go. Let them show them once, let them learn how to do it, clean it up and don't go back over it. Like, you know, I have that urge to just Make sure it's done right correctly. I have to learn to trust that they know what they're doing. They're learning in there. That's how they're gonna learn also as a as a man. But in general, for any other thing too in my life, you know, I feel like I have to do everything. And sometimes I, I do, but I have to let that go. You know, allow dad to do certain things and don't worry about it, don't stress about it. I have to learn, allow my teenagers to do certain things and not go over them and and feel like what I'm saying and doing is the right and only way. So that's one thing I'm learning to do. Uh, let me see what else I have for here as a note that I can share. Um, right, another thing I can do to stop being this grown black woman um, all the time, you know, I, we have to be, you know, that's just, obviously that's life, we have to be. But learn to rest, like, not just taking naps, but my mind, my body, my soul, and allow myself to be patient with all things. I, my patience is just like this little. And also when I give people things or tell ex people things to do or stuff like that, I want it done so quickly or as soon as I say it's done. So I think, you know, just being patient with others and patient with myself will ease the stress. You know, if I tell someone to do something or ask someone to do something, I want it done right now. And when they don't do it, it's like I'm stressed out about it. And it worries me sometimes. And in certain situations, I don't need I don't need it done as soon as possible. It can wait maybe a few minutes <laughs> or an hour or a day or so. But I have to learn to be patient with others. So I won't stress myself out. You know, being a superwoman, being a super mom is so amazing. Like, you know, we have our days and I think it's just natural, it's a natural thing for us. But it's also time to live that soft life. Like I'm ready for that. And I just have to allow myself to let other people, let me, well, let other people take care of me. Let other people allow me to live that soft life. So if I'm asking for help. I need to receive the help and don't worry about it. I need to allow people to do things on their own timing and don't stress about it. I need to be patient. So that's all I have for this affirmation. So don't forget, 
ladies we don't always have to be this grown black woman we don't always have to be the strong woman we don't always have to be up here things don't have to always go our way <laughs> but we had to learn to be patient and definitely definitely learn to ask for help receive the help that you ask for and even if they ask even if they just do it for you without asking don't try to allow don't tell them like okay i want it done this or this is how i do it just let the person do it for you so you don't have to be doing those certain things so that's something i could go i have so many things to talk is about that allowing others to do for me and help me and not feel like i have to go behind their backs and just make sure it's done correctly and like that but that's something i have to work on for myself so i can live that soft life that god always dreamed of but yeah so that's it for today and i hope i see you tomorrow for day three